My name is Kathy McPherson. I'm a nurse practitioner at the Harrow Health Center. Uh, my job at the center is to do primary care for the patients of Harrow and um, I like my patients. That's why I come to work. It's a, it's a very enjoyable place to work. My patients I see anywhere from womb to tomb, which means I see babies, I see teenagers, I see, um, well, women, teen I do shots, I do physicals, I do lab work, I order x-rays. I do everything a family doctor does within a certain realm. Uh, family doctors can do more, like they can order narcotics, but we do basically well with people care. To be a nurse practitioner, um, you need to have a master's in nursing and you get a certificate in a nurse practitioner program. So you get a BSCN in nursing, then you get a master's, and then you get the nurse practitioner certificate. So for the answer about salary, um, salary very, is very flexible depending on where you work. Um, if you work in hospital, it can be more because it's ONA and it's a union area. Or if a place has a global budget, which means they have control of, of the uh, monies. But um, you could, as an RN, you can make up to $100,000 a year. So, and as a nurse practitioner, we start at about $70,000 a year and go up to about $90,000. Uh, nurse practitioners and nurses in the community have not had a raise from the government since 2005. Whereas at hospitals and people who have global budgets, they can adjust their um, funding so that nurses can get more money. So, nurses in hospital um, make more money than nurses in community. Fun fact! Attributes and abilities to being a nurse practitioner are concern for patients, able to calm people down and help them in pain, communication skills, to have responsibility, and to be decisive. So in the future, I think nursing is going to be uh, in demand because the baby boomers are getting older and there's going to be a lot I need for geriatric nurses. Um, I need you to come and take care of me when I'm older. So I think there will be a shortage of nurses. Technology we use is we use EMR. So all our charting in all of our lab results and x-ray results come into the center through our computers. So all of your charts are on, the, on our computers. Um, it's called a Kiro. And so we do all our charting and everything there. And it's easy access for everyone to get information. Another thing we have is something called um, telemedicine. So we have a computer and the physician and the patient, well, for instance, on Peely Island, the patient goes to the nursing station there and they then send the picture online to the doctor here, tel telemedicine. So he's sitting in the boardroom and the nurse in Peely Island describes the symptoms the patient has. They have an audible stethoscope that the doctor, when you put it on, you can hear the heart sounds them, himself or the breath sounds. So the doctor is actually doing assessment through the computer by the other patient. And they make the diagnosis that way so the patient doesn't have to come from Peely. You know, it's very difficult in the winter for them to get here. So we have a few patients from Peely and the doctor sees them that way. They also see specialists in Toronto that way. Um, if they can't get up there, we've had specialists in Toronto contact us through the computer and they have a consultation right here in Hero. They don't have to leave, they don't have to travel. The most important thing I think that has changed recently is the electronic medical record. Uh, before we used to have to go through charts, paper charts, store them. We don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to have that extra space. We have to keep our charts legally for seven years after a patient's been discharged or dies. Um, so we do have some paper charts still in storage, but with the computer in a disc, we don't need to worry about space for, for records. This is that original, this has no identical.